now once you go to that link you'll it will be you know asking you to give some information like your name email and company and how many employees works in the company now you need to say download Zamarine for windows okay, next fill the information then it will start downloading an exe for you then you need to run that then it will take you to various steps just say next 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 you will be ready with your Xamarin plugin for Visual Studio you can go and go for the new project and select Android and Android application and you can start creating Android application now before we go for creating an Android application we need to set some something for the environment like if I uh, develop an app and if I want to debug it or you know if I want to execute it so because it is a mobile app it requires a mobile device for debugging so what I can do I can plug in a mobile device and I can deploy this on my mobile device and I can check it but it's a long process say I'm, I'm developing my app and I need to you know test it some hundred times so it becomes a long and hectic process to test it each and every time on a physical device now what I can do I can have a virtual mobile device integrated with your visual studio so by default once you install Xamarin you will get a virtual mobile device the virtual mobile device is called as emulator so emulator is nothing but it is a virtual mobile device which is given by your Google by default and it looks something like this it has all the features of what you see in your Android mobile phones so emulator is nothing but a virtual mobile device that runs on your computer the emulator lets you develop and test Android application without using a physical device so that is nothing but emulator so we need to set this emulator now while setting an emulator anyway we will see all these things practically but before that I wanted you to have an idea what we are going to do while implementation so we need to set this emulator so while setting an emulator there is a very important term that is API level we need to understand that API level is an integer value a value which refers to a specific version of Android operating system if I say API level 8 then it refers to Android version 2.0 if I say API level 10 then it refers to gingerbread you might have heard about this if I say API level 15 it refers to ice cream sandwich so 4.0.3 4.0.4 so ice cream and sandwich it refers to that jelly bean API level 16 17 18 for the version 4.1 4.2 4.3 finally KitKat that is nothing but 19 now more the api level you will have more features but targeted devices may be less why because we are not sure that you know all the uh, androids mobile phones they are using the latest version but features will be more if you go back you know api level 8 the features may be less but the targeted audience will be more so if you have developed an app by targeting a lower version it can run on any higher version but if you have developed an app targeting a higher version it may not run on lower version like many features may not run on lower versions so, uh, this is this is a common concept say for example you have developed an app in dotnet 2.0 and you want to you know migrate it to 4.5 May not have many issues but if you want to run an app which is developing developed in 4.5 and you want to run it in 2.0 there will be many issues because there are many features that you don't 2.0 does not support the same thing here if you have developed an app in the latest version and if you want to run it on the older versions maybe problems so these are the api levels so basically for our working purpose we will be working with the api level 19 we will set that we will we'll be working with the latest OS. 
so that's it uh, for the theory part in our next video we'll just go and start our first android mobile app so that's it for this video thank you very much